Soulful Minimalist. This channel is a safe space for handbag admiration and today for handbag education. But before we get into that, I'd like to say happy Friday. I hope you all had a lovely week. It's been a busy one for me. I haven't had time to film or to be very engaged this week and I apologize for that. I feel like things have just ticked up because everyone's finally in the groove of the new year. It took us a few weeks to get there. Everybody just was kind of slow motion the first couple of weeks. Then we had the snowstorm, which further delayed some things, impacted timelines, took kids out of school. And then so this week, everybody's been fast and furious about everything. So it's been a long week and I'm glad to be back. So for the topic of today, I want to compare two handbags in my collection that I really like. Well, I know I'm curious about how these two bags compare to one another, and I feel like someone else out there probably is too. So I wanna share this comparison with you. All right, so this week was um, rainy all week. So that means given that I was going into the office, I had to carry a bag that was rain friendly. So on one of those days, I carried um, a Louis Vuitton bag. Epi leather, and I should have brought it out with me, but I didn't. But I switched out of that bag and I switched into another one yesterday, which was also a rainy day and I have it sitting here. It is... Um, this Rebecca Minkoff, I think Edie is the style name, and it's a pretty small bag, but I really do think it's cute. It's in like a burgundy or plum color, and for me, this is like a knock-around bag, not because of the brand or anything like that, but there were some issues with this bag that initially left me just very unimpressed with it. And that issue is regarding the hardware. So this bag has like a black, I don't know if you would call this gunmetal or I don't know. It's a black hardware, but it's like the rings were discolored after one or two uses and it's, they're flaking right here. So all of this which used to be black is now like gray. And I know it's likely because there's another ring or grommet in here that it's rubbing against, but I just felt like that was completely unacceptable because I had used it maybe twice. So after I noticed that, I vowed not to buy any more. Even though she has a lot of styles that I think are cute, I just don't want to deal with, with that type of quality. So this is a knock around bag for me at this point. So I carried it yesterday and it was raining. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to keep it simple. The contents of this bag are what I will use to compare these other two bags. So let's get into what those two are. Surprise. These are the two bags that I want to compare today. It's the Pillow Tabby 26 in the color Taffy and the Quilted Tabby 26 in the color Vivid Pink. This bag just released recently, as many of you know, and it's quite different than the Pillow Tabby. So my comparison of these two today will mainly consist of the capacity and how they differ. Um, in that way. So we will start with the pillow tabby and then we'll move on to her fancy pants sister after that. All right, so like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. The contents of the Rebecca Minkoff ED bag are what I will use to pack out this bag. It may not maximize the space that we have, but what I'm trying to do is compare this one to the quilted tabby. All right, so when I go into the office, I try to keep my handbags small and the contents minimal. So that's what you'll see today. I'm gonna start with this Nano 
bag I got from Target over the holidays. I don't remember the, what the name of it is, but the size was Nano and they are so adorable. It has a top handle. It is not leather, but it feels like lambskin. Um, they were available in a few different sizes and a few different colors, but what I used it for yesterday was just kind of as a catch-all or a wallet. All of my cards are here. Hand sanitizer is in here, uh, a lip liner and lip balm. So I just stuck this directly into the Rebecca Minkoff bag and I will put it directly into the pillow tabby. I've right, got the stuffing out of the pillow tabby and the front compartment. Actually, the back is bigger. So, you know, my upside down method, I put right into the back compartment compartment upside down I had a pack of tissue airpods a cell phone and then some loose items I had was a my to go perfume lipstick hand cream and a couple of pieces of gum. Putting those items into the middle compartment with the zipper, I kind of like to put liquidy things um, separate from everything else if I can. So that's how we're looking with the pillow tabby. And it closed very easily. Well, it's not Pack to capacity, it's not um, being stretched or anything like that. Um, I have one more thing to show you with this bag really quick though. I'm back, did you notice anything different? So I added this chain extender, which I absolutely have to use this whenever I'm using this strap with this bag because it would just be too short. This is how it fits with the chain extender. So it would be way too short and uncomfortable without it because the bag is it's pretty puffy and it would be like here. So got this from Amazon and I can link it below for you. So here's one more look at the pillow tabby and how it packed out in the end. One thing I want to make note of about this bag is that it does not have that front flap pocket that the quilted tabby will have, nor does it have a back pocket. So just two things to make note of. Oh, and the interior is fully leather. So the front compartment is leather. The middle one has fabric, but the back is also leather. All right, now... We're moving on to the quilted tabby. I'm going to use those same items to pack out this bag. So the Nano bag from Target. Now on this one, the front compartment is obviously larger on this one, but we have this front flap here with the magnetic closure and you have this back pocket also with the magnetic closure that in the front this time since that's the larger compartment and then I'll stick everything else that's everything the phone is in there in the back airpods are in the front and green lipstick and the perfume are all thrown back here I actually didn't put anything in here so this would be another space for you to maybe put something in as well as the Front pocket is not used and nor is the back pocket. So let's see how it closes. It closes pretty well, but I'm seeing that that warping that happens in the middle and I don't like that. I also really don't like how wide it looks along the top. So I know a quick change that we could make would be to just Take the contents of the nano bag out and put them into something smaller. So I'm going to take the contents out of here, which is mainly cards. You really shouldn't have this many cards with you, but there are some gift cards 
mixed in there too. I'm going to take those out of the Target bag and put them into this dress up your purse envelope pouch. Um, it's leather and it's very useful for change, for cash, for whatever you want to put in it. So I put all the cards in there. It has like a dog leash clip on it and a key ring. So if you want it to dangle it from something. So we're going to use this instead of the target bag. And then these three items will go in the middle zipper compartment. And I'm also going to just pop the lipstick and the hand cream and the perfume in there as well. All right, so now we've got everything in there. Here we go. I feel much better about that than I felt, you know, with having it being stretched. Very comfortable. Not heavy. Now, I have something sitting here that I did not plan to fit into either of these bags, but since it's sitting here, we're gonna try it. And that thing is an iPad mini. I have never tried to fit this in a pillow tabby at all. I just assumed it wouldn't fit, but let's just see. It goes in if you needed to put it there quickly for some reason. Not the best fit, but you could put it there. Let's try the inside. Back pocket would be where I would want it to go. And then I took these two items out of the back and I will put them in the front. <sighs> Do y'all think it's not close? I have to use a little elbow grease to see. Closed. And I don't see that warping, but I. This is how it looks from the side. So you can see the iPad is in there. Back. And then front again. Like I don't, I don't feel like it's warping it or I can't believe the iPad fit in here. It's heavy, but there's an iPad in it. And this is how it looks with the iPad in there. Not been out of shape, not stretched. I can't believe it went in there. And now I'm like, I could take this bag to the airport because my iPad could fit in it. I'm, I'm amazed. So you know I've got to go back and see if it will fit in the pillow tabby too. But I'm not mad at this at all. I'm actually quite, I'm feeling it. What about you all, what do you think? I think it's too much. And this is a 20 si 26 size, so keep in mind there's a 33 also. Let's go back to the pillow tab be really quick just to see if the iPad fits in there. And I'm gonna go with the back pocket for the iPad mini in the middle zipper pocket for, I'm not gonna use this might as well keep it consistent with this. Right. Got all those things in the middle zip. AirPods front. We don't really have much going on in the front. My two pieces of gum. Let's see if it closes. It's pulling a little bit. So let me, let me fix that. All right, so here we go. Perfect. 
it's in there. Here's an iPad mini in my pillow tabby. Never, never would have guessed it would fit. I think it looks pretty good also. It's not distressed or bent out of shape. There's this little soft spot on the back, but that's not because of the iPad. I think it looks good. It's, it's maintained its shape. It's still puffy. I am I probably am not looking as excited as I really am to find this out, but for me, this means I can travel with this bag. I don't have to have a bag or a purse that fits the iPad mini, but it's a plus if it will fit. And these fit. I would definitely carry um, the dust bag with me though, because the leather on these is, you know, very, um, delicate and I would want to cover it up going through security checkpoints and whatnot but this is a contender now for travel so I'm glad the iPad was sitting there but that's pretty much it for the comparison of these two bags my final opinion is that they are very comparable in what they can hold this one obviously will stretch and you can fit larger items into it than this one, but this one is structured. And you know, there are disadvantages and advantages to both, but I hope that has um, helped you if you had some question about the capacity of these two sisters. So that's all I have for tonight. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Friday evening and have a lovely weekend. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Stop and show these in. Three, go. All right, stop, show me the bag. Two, three. All right, stop and show me the bag.